Okay, so you know, you you know someone who was right there who probably took video and got audio yeah, of what he said. Pictures. My, Mark Dice was. Where, I think if I'm recalling correctly, I could be wrong because there was a lot going on. I think he had on a wrong Ron Paul or Rand Paul uh, T-shirt. Yeah. That day, is that correct? Yes. As far as you know, yeah, yeah. He was the one. He he tried to interview me, but it was too distracting, and I didn't. I'd already knew who he was, and. I just didn't want to give him a lot of energy. Okay, Mary, you know, you told me that Alex Jones basically uh, backstabbed the Bohemian Girl Action Network. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I don't think I used the term backstab. I think that he certainly undermined our message. Um, I, unfortunately, did not know. You know, every time we get around July, I get a lot of calls. And he was one of them, and this was 10 years ago. And I helped him get in. He was with a man named John Ronson, who uh, wrote a book from, he's from England. He was with some other people. And I, unfortunately, helped them get in. I even heard Alex say on one of his, uh, one of his documentaries with a Russian film crew that I think their alibi was that they were male prostitutes. <laughs> Uh, I just, from the beginning, when Alex started ranting with some of his craziness, like, uh, you know, who the people in Monte Rio were, they were like plastic fodder for these guys. I mean, he's just kind of an idiot. And so I never said he backstabbed this because I never took him that seriously. I just thought he undermined the message for, you know, I had to kind of follow him around with a lot of media started calling. And then little by little, I got to know who he is. And He's kind of considered a right-wing nut by most people that I respect. Okay. okay. Now, uh, Mark Dice is saying that we're out on a liberal smear campaign against him. Now, basically, I, I am just weary of all people who attend a peaceful protest and make a three-ring circus out of it. Your thoughts, Mary? Well, if anybody made a three-wing circus, it was him. We had a lovely program. We had Cindy Sheehan. We had the Fukushima mothers who have been affected by that earthquake, the radiation there in uh, Japan. Uh, they've been traveling all over the place. I mean, very, we had some very serious stuff. We also had a lot of local uh, activists from uh, the Northern California that came and spoke on just about every subject because our position, our message has always been to bring the issues together at Bohemian Grove because you can pretty much find somebody making a profit up there off of whatever issue it is you're protesting. So, you know, we bring the environmentalists and the peace people and the social justice people, uh, you know, together. And um, I, people like Alex and uh, Mark Dice, once I realize who they are and where they're coming from, I, I tend not to waste a lot of time on them. If people are foolish enough to believe them, then there's probably not a lot I could say. Um, but I would support those who have listened to them and have questioned them and have walked away shaking their heads. I mean, uh, some of it is just downright silly. Why do you think he didn't cover the Bohemian Grove this year? Who, Alex? Yeah. Um, oh, I, I suppose because he's got other people uh, like Mark Tice. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> the situation between them. We got quite a bit of coverage. A lot of it, you know, it's, for me, a lot of it was uh, questionable because it wasn't from regular mainstream. We've, we've, we've tried to reach the mainstream media, but I have to concede and, and understand that the media coverage is changing. And like you, a lot of it is being done on the Internet. There's also a lot of really kooky stuff on the Internet. Yes. Yeah. And, I mean, Lord, I just hope there's enough people out that can see the difference. Uh, again, the reason that we protested up there for over 30 years is because this, these are the 1%. This is the classic 1%. A lot of old money, and we follow the Lakeside Talks, which is the private talks that are given up there. They're basic public policy talks, but there was no public scrutiny. So every year we try to get out who spoke and that sort of thing. We don't go off on uh, uh, Moloch the Owl. We don't go off on the bear burning babies at the cremation of care. Or, you know, it's just, uh, I mean, it amazes me that people really believe that. 
And if they do believe it, like I said, there's not a lot I can say. Now, Mary, uh, I saw your interview with RT News. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, how was that? Uh, how, how did you like working with RT? It was a very good piece. Um, yeah, they came out here. If it's the same one, I've done one on the phone, too. But if it was, a, was it the interview where they came out here and took video? Yeah, where they uh, went to the entrance and they uh, were yeah, threatened with being arrested. That was like, and the reason they came out here, they also had uh, Peter Phillips on, I believe. Uh, the reason they came out here was that last year we did not organize it. In fact, because of last year, it's one of the reasons we did organize it this year. Because last year, all these right-wing nutcases came out there. And you could see, I mean, it, it was just a bizarre circus. And a lot of it was Alex Jones followers. Yeah. And so, you know, we just went, oh, my God, talk about a confused message. We better organize it again if we want our message out there so it's like you know it's like having to organize a really very valid protest you know swimming upstream because we have to go through all these uh, this silliness and uh, I just hope people understand this is serious stuff in itself you do not have to go to these bizarre conspiracy theories to understand the seriousness of it absolutely um well, Mary, uh, thank you for uh, joining us again. Now, going back to Mark Dice, he is claiming that he was simply stating Richard Nixon's faggy comments regarding the Bohemian Grove. That's how Richard Nixon basically, that's how he put it, uh, that it was the most faggy goddamn place he had ever, he had ever been to or heard of. Anyway, we're going to go to the sound clip. Here it is. Is that way? A Bohemian Grove that I attend on time to time. The Easterners and the others have come there. But it is the most faggy goddamn thing you will ever can ever imagine. Our San Francisco crowd that goes in there. It's just terrible. I mean, I can always shake hands with anybody in San Francisco. Now, let's go to footage of what I'm calling the infamous Doug Millar incident, where you clearly see Doug Millar poking and prodding at the Sonoma County. Now, I am in no way backing the actions of these thugs, and they will know soon enough, especially with QE3 being passed recently, that they are on our side, and what's bad for us is bad for them. But regardless, I do not advocate uh, that one be combative against these goons, because it, take, it takes away from the message the overall message of peacefully protesting your government. Now, again, if anyone puts their hands on you, the more that's the better, different. Tough guys. <laughs> Hey, come on! He's a senior citizen! Leave him alone! If you have any questions regarding the economic crisis, government cover-ups, Big Brother, or the New World Order, be sure to contact us at the Bruce Montalvo Show at gmail.com.